it's time for Stories from the Heart with Carolyn Mark. Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome to another Stories from the Heart with Mark and Carolyn. Yes, it's normally Carol and Mark, but Carol's going to be telling the story today, just just for a little change. Oh, boy! And today we're going to talk, tell a story to you about the importance of helping others. Are you ready to learn about that more? Yippee! <laughs> I'm ready. Ready? Stand and go! Susie's Lessons in the School of Life Susie was an adorable, adorable little girl. (laughs) Everyone loved her so very much. Her mommy used to make her a special breakfast every day. Her daddy would give her more hugs than she could take. Her brother and sister would do everything they could think of to celebrate her gift of her presence in their lives. Susie, however, had a little mischievous heart. She would say, oh no, I don't need any hugs. And when her mom would say, can you give me a helping hand? Susie would say, oh, no way. I have better things to do. I'm going to get away from here. And when her little brother or sister would say, Susie, can you help me with my homework? Oh, no, do it yourself. I'm going to go and have some fun. And so Susie started spending more and more time away from home. And even her teachers noticed that she stopped going to school. Can you guys believe that? No way. She would do anything she could not to work, not to help, not to study. Wow, amazing. Have you ever heard of a person like that? Incredible, right? Want to know what happened to her? Well, as she grew older, she started taking things away from other people for money. Uh Uh-oh! She didn't want to earn money herself, because earning money herself takes effort, and she didn't want to do it. So she was like, oh no, I'm not going to help. I'm not going to study. I'm not going to work. I'm just going to take things away from other people. So one day, she was going about her business, thinking about what she could take from someone else in order not to help herself. And she took something very, very valuable from a young lady that was passing by. The young lady noticed it and started rushing after her. And our Susie didn't look very carefully when she crossed the street. And boom, she was hit by a car. She had an accident. Luckily, dear friends, we know that nobody died. (sighs) Only our physical bodies died, but our true selves go on. So our dear Susie went on to the spiritual realm. And she could see in a big TV brought to her by her garden angel all of her actions ever since she was a small little girl until that moment in time. But this movie, dear friends, was a bit different. You know why? Because in addition to seeing herself, our dear Susie could also see and feel what other people were feeling. And she felt so embarrassed because she spent many, many years all her life thinking about herself and thinking about getting away with things. But she never stopped to think about How does my mommy feel? How does my daddy feel when I do that? How do my brothers and sisters feel? How do I make my classmates feel? She never put herself in other people's positions. And when she realized how lazy she was and how that heart the hearts 
of the people she loved, she started crying and crying and crying from sadness. But her guardian angel came to her and said, Don't worry, my dear child, because you are a child of God, and God shall give you another beautiful opportunity. And she said, Thank you, thank you, dear friend. Now I know that I need to really study for the lessons of life. Yay! Yay! Well, you know, Carol, that story teaches us something really important about reincarnation. I was thinking, as I was listening to that beautiful story, that there's a lesson to learn here, and that is that our spirit is learning all the time. We're learning here on Earth because Earth is a school, not just for going to school to learn what our teacher tells us to learn, but there's more, much, 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 much more important lessons that we're learning about bigger, 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 bigger things, like learning to be more compassionate, learning as Susie did, learning to think about others' needs and others' feelings and emotions. There's a fancy word for that called empathy. Shh, don't tell anybody, okay? Learning to be nicer, learning to care about other people, right? These are bigger, 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 more important things that Susie learned from her, not so much in her life, but when she went to the spirit realm and she saw that video, right? And she went, oh, oh my goodness, that I almost wonder if that was the purpose of her whole reincarnation on Earth was for her to learn that lesson. And it's so powerful because that actually helps me in another way. And that can help all of us. Think about this. Maybe there's somebody at school. Or maybe there's a person that you meet, your neighbor. I had kind of a, a neighbor I didn't like much when I was a kid. Okay, And she would always growl at me and say, Get off my lawn! Right? Okay, That was not very pleasant. But... I could look at that and say, oh, she's so hurtful and such a nasty person. Or I can think of her compassionately and realize that when she goes to the spirit world, she's going to have the same video. And she's going to learn the same thing about what life is like and how her actions impacted other people. So even if she doesn't learn it on Earth, she's going to learn it later. And she's the same spirit going from Earth as she is going into the spirit realm. What do you think, Carol? I think that's so true because God loves us. So God, as a loving father and mother, gives us so many loving opportunities to learn, even if it's just in the spiritual realm, which is our real home. But I think that this is also an important lesson for us because of another perspective. The other perspective is to know that each day that we spend in this blessed school of life, because we are all students in this school of life, is a gift from God. So instead of waiting until we get into the spiritual realm to think about what other people feel and how we can be helpful to them, we can ask ourselves this question every day. When we wake up in the morning, instead of saying, Oh, Mommy, Daddy, I need this, I need that, I want it, I want it, give it to me, I want it. We can wake up and say, Wow, another day in the school of life, that's great. How can I help others? How can I be more useful? If we all do this little exercise in the morning, Our hearts are going to be lighter, our hearts are going to be more open, and our big brother Jesus will be closer and closer and closer to us, and our garden angel will be cheering for us, saying, go, you can do it, you can help more, you can love more, and you can learn more. So don't forget, little friends, and don't forget Carol, and don't forget Mark, that we came 
detour from this reincarnation to learn and to help. Yes, so that's important. So not only can we care more about little Susie and people like little Susie that we meet every day, but we can learn from this story how important and how much of a valuable opportunity we have every day in our own lives to learn to care for others and to help others. Yes, and we can learn not only in our school, which is beautiful, but also in our home. Our home is also a beautiful school and we can all learn together so the more we open our hearts to help one another the more we can learn together how beautiful is that the big brother jesus said wow i have a special home just for you just for you and just for you because this home will help you grow spiritually and learn more each day big brother jesus is always by our side hoping that we open our hearts more and more and in order for us to open our hearts in gratitude for the school of life and all the beautiful lessons that we receive every day we are going to ask our dear Mark to connect all of us to Big Brother Jesus' heart with a beautiful prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for this blessed incarnation that we have here on earth. Thank you for all the people we meet every day, the people who we instantly love and, and everybody in our family, and even the people who we sometimes don't want to be around. Because everyone that we meet is a beautiful opportunity to learn to love and to serve and to grow as a spirit. Thank you, beautiful mentors, for all the gifts of everyone around us. And thank you, Jesus, for the gifts that we have in front of us every day to learn in this beautiful, loving school called Earth all the things that are important for our future as a spirit to learn to be more compassionate to learn to be more loving to learn to serve and to learn to grow and so be it so be it Yay! Yay! so we are so happy dear friends that in this life we are blessed with the opportunity to learn with you Please be sure that our hearts are constantly connected to yours. And this weekend, dear friends, we met two listeners in person. And oh, we would like yay. to send them a big, beautiful, loving hug. They were two adorable spirits, adorable little girls, who we met in Florida, in Orlando. So, a big kiss to both of you. You are always in our hearts and we love to meet each and every one of you and hear from you. And as spirits, even if we can't get to you personally, you know that we can always be connected from the heart to the heart. How beautiful is that? So thank you, dear listeners, for being part of our family from the heart and we would like to thank the spirit of Casimiro Cunha for inspiring this story so beautifully through the hands of our loving and dearest Chico Xavier. So this story, dear friends, is a collaboration in both realms of life. Isn't it beautiful? So I hope you guys feel the love because the love always feels good. good. And until we meet again for another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark, we will be sending you Tons and tons and tons of hugs of gratitude. We, We love, love you guys. guys. Bye. Bye.